Good morning. This is the second time I've been awake this morning. I've already been up already and I went swimming in the sea. Now, some of these people aren't wearing wetsuits, but I've decided to wear a wetsuit because they're going for 20 minutes and I know that I cannot last 20 minutes in a cold sea because I'm not used to it. I would probably last about three and then shake for 45 minutes. Three, two, one. <laughs> so today I've had two days off and I'm feeling so much better after those two days off. I've slept, I've ate, drank coffee and then right now I'm heading up to the start to finish a little cheeky run into town today. So we're at Nesting Junction which is about 10 miles north of Lerwick which is the epicentre of Shetland. Yeah, that's what it is, the, that, where, everything that's where everything happens. And we're going to start today's run and it's just about to stop raining, I think. <laughs> so, I've just come across this car and I've looked at it and gone, I really, really like this car. And then Charlotte's just told me, she said it was in the paper because they couldn't move it because there were baby birds breeding under the bonnet. Shona's house, just south of Lerwick. Charlotte has made that plain sailing. Thank you so much. Oh, thank so you, thank you. I enjoyed that. Amazing. This is Shona. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Shona. Shona has hosted me for what, maybe four or five nights in total now? I think so. I've eaten all of her bread and her jam and drank a lot of her milk and coffee. But finally today, on the last day as I leave, she's coming for a run with me. A very short one, oh. not but nevertheless, and I'm running. How far are you gonna run? I don't know, maybe a mile, two miles, maybe. And Shona's got the coolest hair. She also has the coolest dog. Max! He's not that impressed. <laughs> He's not, is he? <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> got a really sore spot on my foot and it feels like I've got something in there but I can't see anything. There's this tiny, tiny little, little nick that might have a bit of grit or glass in it or something but it's driving me nuts. Maybe it's even a little splinter. Oh, I just can't be arsed today. <laughs> I just can't be arsed. No point dwelling on that. No point dwelling on that. I've got to get out there. So we'll just keep Turn it around, we'll turn this day around. Come on. It's just so stop, start, stop, start. I just want to run. Ugh! I'm at the Mackenzie farm shop and it smells amazing. Got some cake, a bit of bacon. Get in my belly. It is now five o'clock in the afternoon, but look, pretty much like it's blooming midday. The sun is still well up in the sky, and I am verge hopping all the way to my host house in Sandwick. A lovely woman named Joanne is going to be hosting me tonight. She's a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend from back home. <laughs> And I've got two issues going on tonight after today's run. That is my toe tendon is still a bit cheeky. Number two though, that's annoying me more, is that little splinter I got in my heel at the start of the day. A tiny little splinter, so small, and it is causing me agony. Every time I land on it, pound on the tarmac, it just sends a little pain right through my heel. So I'm gonna try and get it out. I'm gonna have to do some digging, literally. Good morning. Today is my last day in the Shetland Islands, which is really sad because I've absolutely loved it here. It's been amazing. The people have been so kind, but I'm going to the Orkney Islands. Yeah. 